No, no. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 Right, I'll see you in a minute, mate. Dean, how do you feel about it? It's been a well win 24 hours. Obviously, had a chat on Sunday night and another chat last night, and obviously got off the job and basically sat rounds off. Why do you want it with there seems to be turmoil in the club? Could you have taken over at the worst time in some ways or what? I wouldn't say there's turmoil in the club. Um, I've been in the club for six and a half years. As a player, and obviously just on the outside, been working between the university and the club of the year, Glendale Academy. I know what I'm coming into, and I'm more than happy to be here. You've had a taste of it. What are your ambitions, what, uh, and what is a, a reality for Wrexham this season? Reality wise, uh, we're in a position we don't want to be in, the club shouldn't be in. It's a big club, it should be the top end of the table. We just, we'll take it game by game and look at progressing each game. You've got Andy alongside you. What about your coaching team? Have you thought about that? Yeah, Andy's stepping up. He's going to have a foot in both camps. He's going to help me and assist me. Uh, maybe one or two uh, along the way it might maybe help him. But I've had a lot of offers, people volunteering to come in and help. So if, over the next week or so, things will start down and we'll have a look at that then. And how do you assess the your squad? As I said to the lads, since we've been interim in charge last week, um, they're on trial at the football club, be it whether it was me who was in charge or somebody else was in the stands watching. As it is now, it's still the same process. The lads have got the football club at the moment, they've got the tops, so it's up to them to keep the tops. Train hard Monday to Friday, do the business whenever they pull the top on for the football club. Can you still make playoffs this season? We're eight points off it. Um, as I said, we'll just take it game by game and we'll obviously we'll 
first and foremost, we've got a big game tonight, and we'll look at uh, trying to get three points tonight. Can I ask why Dean? He's the best man for the job. What what makes him stand out? His passion, his knowledge of the club from top to bottom. Uh, the fact that he's been here so long, he understands what Wrexham's about and he, he knows what's expected of him from both the board and the fans. Did you had something like 60, 70 applicants? 55 applicants we had. Um, Dean, uh, for me, uh, say the biggest thing, he knows the club, he knows everyone here. Uh, a new manager, a brand new manager, will have to step back, look at the club, but reassess with Dean. Hit the, uh, hit the road uh, running, and uh, I see it really. My own personal view as Brian Flynn. It's a very similar situation to when Brian Flynn came in. I look at the success he had for this football club. I'm a bit taller than Flynn now. No pressure there. There's been a lot more experienced managers, but also Absolutely. some, but some of the clubs, some of the best years lately have been Andy Morell, who have come in the same sort of uh, vein as Dean, and uh, it worked, didn't it? Absolutely, and as a Football Club board, I understand that um, you know uh, we tried an experienced managing Gary Mills. Yeah. We tried a, a manager who knew this league, who was up and coming and very uh, um, uh, good at what he did in Kevin Wilkin. Uh, this up, and we felt that this opportunity for Dean was, was the right time. Dean, from uh, your own point of view, an 18-month contract. I know you you're laying high, but it does give you a chance maybe just to set things in motion and see how they go and. It, it's a little bit more than a few months, isn't it? You know, it's uh... yeah, definitely. As you said, I mean, I've got to get to know the players individually now, uh, know what makes them tick, um, and from that, and obviously looking forward, this season it's far from over. As I said, we'll take it game by game and see where it, where it goes. But in the long term, I want to see players who are fully committed to towards me, what I want to do, and Andy, and the football club going forward in towards next season. And there will be, as you said, then one or two others. Joining the coaching staff, but Andy will be your official assistant manager. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, as I said, Andy is my assistant. Maybe one or two people I've had people offering to come in and help out, help do scouting. And get people as far as Switzerland, far enough saying they're prepared to help. Purely, purely love that they have for this football club. Andy, um, just for yourself, obviously you're well recognised at youth level. Delighted to have the opportunity and. You jumped at it, and a different, uh, a different challenge for you now. Yeah, it's certainly a different challenge. I think you know, in terms of the squad that we've got, and for me, it's, it's bridging that gap, like Dean said, between the obviously the youth department and the first team. Um, I've been here a number of years. I was a youth player here myself, and I've been here for 15, 20 years altogether. So I know the club. Um, I'm you know more than delighted to, to obviously help Dean out. Dean, are you considering playing at any point? I've still been playing this season, it's something that's not came in my mind at all since obviously Sunday night when I had my first interview. <sighs> Possibly, is it worth the registration? I don't know if the squad does get to sell Fred Bell, I don't know, it's not something I've really thought about, if I'm honest. What's the situation with Rochelle Olympic then, Dean? Have they been, uh, you've had to inform them that uh, you're now the Wrexham manager? <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, I found out last night myself <coughs> about to come back over and to chat with Spencer and Pete. First thing I've done, a uh, common courtesy towards John Allen, the, the, <coughs> the manager and the chairman of Russell, Fo Russell Football Club, was to call him up and, let, and inform him what had happened. And obviously that I decided to take on the club, the Wrexham job. And he was uh, disappointed in a way, but he was very uh, complimentary in what he said about me. He said, wish me all the best. I left back there on courtesy to say my goodbyes to uh, the players and obviously shake John's hand and thank him for everything he's done for me. So you were skipper under Andy Morell, obviously Dean brought you in, but um, do you look at what Andy achieved um, as being obviously his first management role. Is it something that you can look to and how he went about things? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, I was here, we got close yeah. on a few occasions, fair bit of success. But as I said, it's obviously now I'm going to come in, look at dress the squad, and obviously put my own imprint on things. So you haven't thrown away your boots, Dean, no? No, no, not officially, yeah. I mean, as I said, it's, it's not something I've really thought about, if I'm honest. And it's probably highly, highly unlikely if I do. Even consider doing it. Be great now to get off to a winning start then tonight. Oh, well, I know you as in the official manager and <laughs> the management team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, get all this done and dusted, but obviously, get downstairs about what happens with the lads in the change room. Obviously, them to go out and put performance on for tonight. Back up what we've done at the weekend. Are you looking to bring back anyone who's out on loan at the moment? And if so, do you think they could do a job in the first team? Uh. 
Yes, there's one definitely out on loan. I would if could get him back. He'd definitely be back. But as he stands at the moment, uh, he's not allowed to come back. And he, in my opinion, could he do a job in the first team? Yeah, he definitely could. Is there much you can do to the first team? Obviously, we know about the, the situation with uh, Flins. Is there, I think, will some players possibly be going out to, to make room for new ones? As I said um, <clears throat> about the lads, as I said, when I first came in, I interim manager, while I'm in charge, I just set my expectation of you is to work as hard as you can Monday to Friday. Show me that you want to be in the, on the team on the Saturday. I'll go back there and I'll obviously we'll have a chat with after the game about what's happened and say to him, no, you're on trial in my eyes again, as I did say to him, to, to show me that you're going to be a football club. In terms of uh, operating at this level, you can do, do anything differently. For example, are you able to speak about your thoughts on, say, football agents, etc.? They're part and parcel of the game, and they so I've had, see, even since I've been in temporary charge calls, I've been offering me this player, that player. I mean, it's, gonna, it's part and parcel of the football. Cheers. Yeah. Anybody else have a question? <coughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's do stuff a bit side. Yeah. Yeah, whichever you want to do. 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 Yeah, wh